Welcome to Canine Classroom. In today's video, we are gonna help your dog get over their fear of fireworks. So, let's get started. We are gonna get straight into this video and help your dog get over their fear of fireworks. We've got a link below that you need to go on to after you follow these instructions in this video to help your dog become so much happier and relaxed in your house. Before we start the video with the sound of fireworks, we need to make sure that our volume is at a really low level. So if we look at a scale of one to 100, we really are starting off at one right here. This may seem really obvious to start at such a low level, but it is really important that we don't go over your dog's threshold. And instead, when our dog feels comfortable and relaxed at a certain level, we then build it up gradually. Step two, this is all about your dog's behavior. We've got the volume on, we've got the video playing, but how is your dog responding to this? The key guidance is to make sure the dog's relaxed, happy and not changing their behaviors. If we notice that they start feeling uncomfortable and changing their behaviors, then we need to stop that video right away. Step three, so we've got the volume on and we're watching our dog's behavior. The next part is to leave that on as long as possible throughout the day. Just really make sure that your dog is happy, that your dog is relaxed. But we wanna keep this sound going as long as possible. So have it on when you're feeding your dog, have it on when you're stroking your dog, and just have it on throughout the day when you're not even doing anything. Stage four. This is our final stage, and it's a very, very simple one. It's just upping that volume by one level. That's it. We only do that when we feel that our dog is happy, that they're relaxed, that they're calm. If they're not, then we need to take our time with this stage. So if we push our dog too far, that's our fault, that's on us. What can we do to change that? We can stop the video straight away. Let your dog relax, let your dog calm, lower that volume again, and then build it up gradually over days, weeks, and even months. Do not rush. Don't put it on level one. Ah, oh, my dog's acting perfectly. Put it up to level 10, that's too much. Really try and keep it a level because your dog might not have noticed it. There might be other sounds going on, other noises where they might not have heard that sound. Just remember to only up that volume when you see that your dog is calm, relaxed, and even sleeping. Then we know that our dog is completely chilled with that sound. Once that happens, up that volume just by one at each time. Thanks again for watching, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. Thanks again, and all the best for a happier, calmer future with your dog.